let's look at how we calculate the volume of an object. A volume is measured as the capacity of a three-dimensional object. And the volume is always measured in cubic meters, in meter cubed. We can calculate the volume for a cube, a prism, or a cylinder. A cube is like a box which has four sides that are equal. A prism is also like a box where it has two sides that are equal. All sides are equal on the cube. And a prism, two sides are equal. And a cylinder is like a can or a tube. We can calculate the volume because we calculate what goes inside. If we have to fill it up, how much can we fill it up with? That's the volume. So, let's look at the formulas for each. To calculate the volume for a cube, we use L squared. To calculate the volume for a prism, we use the length times the breadth times the height. To calculate the volume of a cylinder, we use the circle, which has a radius, so we use the area of a circle formula, pi r squared, multiplied by the height. Let's do oh, Before we look at an example, we need to also understand that when we work with volume, we need to do some conversions from meter cube or centimeter cube to liters because volume is always calculated or the units for volumes are always in liters so let's look at some of this a one liter is equivalent to a thousand centimeter cube and also a one liter is equivalent to a thousand milliliters therefore it means one milliliter is equivalent to one centimeter cube and also, one kiloliter is equivalent to one meter cube. You need to understand all these conversions from a kilometer to meter to liters to centimeter to milliliters. All this, if you're doing QMI or BMU, they are in your module. You just need to understand and know how to do those conversions. Okay, enough with this. Let's look at an example. A circular water reservoir has a maximum cap capacity of 10,000 kiloliters. Its diameter is 30 meters. How deep is your reservoir? Probably the how deep, the what deep, the answer in meters. I'm just making that assumption because we want to calculate the height. We want to calculate the height, how deep. Therefore, it means they also gave us the diameter. They said the diameter is 30 meters. They told us the blue shaded area, which is our volume, is 10,000 kiloliters. Now, we have two units that are different, kiloliters and meters we need to find how deep which is in meters it means we need to convert our kiloliters to meters or meter cubed okay but before we do that the formula to calculate the cylinder is v is equals to pi r squared times height we are told what is the diameter. And we know the diameter is 30. Therefore, our radius is equals to 30 divided by 2, which is 15. And we can substitute into the formula. Our volume is 10,000 kiloliters. And we know from previous that 1 kiloliter is equivalent to one 
centimeter or oh, sorry is equivalent to one meter cube one kiloliter is equivalent to one meter cube so therefore it means our 10,000 kiloliters 10,000 kilo liters they are equivalent to 10,000 meter cube is it therefore it means now we can substitute into the formula because then we will be working with meters so 10,000 10,000 meter cube is equals to pi our our r which is the diameter is 15 meters squared times height we don't know what the height is now we can take the 15 meters cube meter squared which is pi is 2 2 5 meter squared times height okay now we can divide both sides so we divide this side by 225 meter cube times pi and also this side by 225 meter cube times pi and pi times 225 meter cube is equivalent to 707 so this is 707.1429 meter cube times height and we still repeat for meter squared so this will be meter cube and we can divide this side by 7 07.1429 meter squared what you do on that side you must do on this side 707.1429 meter squared and when we do that this cancel out with that and we are left with h on the other side and on this side when we divide the meter squared and meter cube we left with meters and 704 it goes how many times into 10,000 707 goes 14 comma 1 4 meters and that is how deep is the rest of four.